it's official. It's Christmas time, so you know what? Ms. King's Kitchen is showing you guys some of my favorite Canadian meals mashed up with a Jamaican way. So today, we are doing my sorrel cranberry sauce with some cornbread biscuits. No, 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 you heard me correctly. Sorrel cranberry sauce with cornbread biscuits. Let's get started. Um, first, I'm lying, you guys, I'm, I'm lying. Cheers. You guys realize my glass? It's Christmassy too. Anyways, okay, let's get started. We're gonna turn this stove on. Let me get it going. You wanna have a nice uh, medium high heat. There we go. So for this dish, the way we're gonna start it off, we're gonna start it off with a sorrel first. We get a sorrel nicely reduced. We're gonna remove it from the heat and then we're gonna add in our cranberry. We're gonna add about three and a half cups of water. Two and three. You want to bring your water up to a nice boil. So we're going to add that half a pack of sorrel into that boiling water. Just reduce that heat down a little bit. And you can already see the red coming through. From that, we're going to add a few seeds of pimento. And we're also going to add in our ginger. And we're gonna let this cook down for approximately, let's call it 10 minutes, okay? Let this cook down for 10 minutes, then you're gonna remove it from the heat, and then we're gonna add the cranberries. So I'll be right back and we're gonna add the cranberries in. Oh my gosh, you guys are back. Okay, you guys, let's make these cornbread biscuits. I'm excited for these. You guys better be excited. So let's get started. Cup and a half of regular all-purpose flour, one cup of cornmeal, okay, perfect. And then you want about two tablespoons of baking powder. So let's put that in right there, okay. Baking powder helps it get, like, right, rise up, you know what I mean? And in normal biscuits, you don't necessarily have to use baking powder, but because we're adding in the cornmeal, we're going to be adding in some egg. You want to have that extra help to make it rise up. So that's the reason why we added it in. I'm going to mix that all up together. And we're going to add a little bit of salt. Okay, a little bit of salt right there. It's about a tablespoon, I would say. A teaspoon to tablespoon. Mix that all up. This butter, I grated the butter. Um, I took a solid one stick of unsalted butter and just used a regular cheese grater to grater it. The reason why we're grating it is because when you're making biscuits, you want to make sure the butter is evenly distributed because that's what it's going to give you that beautiful flaky pastry, okay? I'm going to add it into my flour. Using your fingertips, you want to just gently toss everything together, okay? You don't want it to melt, right? Got the butter in there, got the, the cornmeal, you got your flour, you got your little bit of salt, you got your baking powder, right? What I'm gonna do now is put this in the freezer for another 10 minutes. Big thing when you're making biscuits, you want your flour to be cold, you want your butter to be cold. That's what's gonna give you that beautiful flaky pastry. So, time for the freezer. We'll be back. <laughs> All right, you guys, in the meantime, between time, let's finish off this sour cranberry sauce, all right? So the biscuits are chilling right now, right? So let's finish off this cranberry sauce. We got some brown sugar right here. We're gonna add it right to the pot. So I have my heat on like a medium high heat and you just wanna keep on working that sugar. You wanna get it nicely reduced, okay? All right, you guys, this brown sugar is reduced. So we're gonna add in back our sorrel that I had a chance to already strain off. So I'm just gonna add that fresh sorrel right into the pot. Everything's working together right now. Turn that down, don't want nothing to burn. You wanna make sure the brown sugar is completely reduced out of it in, into that sorrel before you add in your cranberries. Sorrel's looking good. We're gonna add in our cranberries. So this is about 500 grams of cranberries. Add in our cinnamon, cinnamon, you know, a great way to release the natural flavors within the cinnamon, just rub it in between your hands. 
it will kind of just break apart all those beautiful flavors. Oh, love the smell of cinnamon. Three bay leaves here. Again, a great way to deal with bay leaves. Crush them up, drop them in. Okay. The so one, two, three. And the last thing I want to add in is some clementine zest and the clementine juice. So zest and some clementines. Perfect. Nice little spin again. And you want to add the juice of three clementines. I feel like clementines are not like oranges where it gives you as much juices. So sometimes you may have to go up to four. All the ingredients are together. The sorrels in there, the brown sugar, the cranberry, the bay leaves. Everything is going to work together. It just needs time. So we're going to put this on a simmer and you want to let it chill out for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you have the time, give it its time. 30 minutes, 45 minutes will make this that much better. For now, we're just going to let it just do its own thing. I'm going to put a lid on it and let it just simmer off for the next 30 minutes. Man, I love Christmas time. Honestly, Christmas time is probably my favorite time of the year. One, because the family comes all together, but two, the food makes me so excited. So anyways, let's finish these biscuits. So we got my cornmeal flour, you know, business going on with the butter. I need two eggs real quick. So we're going to beat together two eggs. You get, you guys see my, you guys see that work right there? One hand, <laughs> one hand, I'm a professional. You didn't know, now you know. So anyways, we're gonna beat these two eggs together, scramble the things in. Add about one cup of cold butter milk, and then the honey. So it depends on how sweet you like your cornbread. I like my cornbread to, you know, be kinda sweet. So we're gonna add about, well, I think that was about a tablespoon. So two, three, four, five. Okay. Five tablespoons of honey. And you want to keep mixing this mixture together for about two minutes. So it's nice and smooth. You want a beautiful consistency. Now you want to make kind of like a, it's like a hole, like almost like a little well in your cornmeal flour mixture, right? Spray everything off to the side and pour this right in the center. And then you want to slowly start to fold it in. Fold everything in. And as you're folding it in, you will begin to realize, hey, do I need more flour? Do I need more cornmeal? Just wait a little bit, okay? Let's, let's just do about, about 10 folds. So I don't know if you guys want to count it out. I think I'm ready on five. By this time, you should be able to see if you need a little bit more cornmeal or more flour. And I'm going to say I do because the dough is really wet, but because you're making a biscuit, you don't want it to be as wet, right? So I'm gonna add in a little bit more cornmeal, cause again, I'm making a cornbread biscuit. I'm giving a few more folds. Huge thing with biscuits, you wanna make sure the flour is all the way worked through. I might add a little bit more flour, cause it will tighten it up just a little bit more. So once your batter starts to pull away from the side of the bowl, that's how you know your batter is ready. So, oh yeah, okay. You know, sometimes you get a little parched, right? So Now that it's like, you know, it's giving me an actual workout to spin it. I know it's like nice and thick. Okay, that's good. All right, what do you guys want to do? Add some flour to wherever you're going to be rolling this out onto. So I got a cutting board here. Add some flour to it. And then we're going to add my batter back on here now. All right, you guys, 
we have rolled out our dough. We did it a few times. So we rolled it out, we fold, we rolled up, we fold. Now it's time to cut it. And um, if you're like me, I don't have one of those pretty cutters, right? So I just use a glass. I just dust it in flour and I just push down on it really hard. Go a few spins and there we go. It's a really big thing. You really want your biscuits to touch together. So when they touch, they all rise together and they all look the same. Once you get to this really weird spot where it's like you don't know if you can even like shape anymore, you just bunch it all back together, you roll it back out, cut a few more. That one right there, that's a biggie right there. I like my biggie. So, these are beautifully rolled out. I'm gonna put these in the oven, 355 degrees uh, Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes until the top is beautifully golden. Once it's golden, it is ready to go. This is happy time, you guys. Christmas is all about happy time. And guess what? My biscuits are done. My sauce is done. Let's, put, let's turn the sauce off right now. You know what I mean? So first things first, I just took these out of the oven. I'm just going to brush them with a little bit of butter on top. All this butter on these beautiful biscuits. And you see what I was saying about you, you have them touch while they're, while they're baking in the oven because they all rise together. They all have roughly around the same size and that is because they were all touching. And again, this cranberry sorrel sauce can be eaten with just about anything when it comes to Christmas time. Ham, turkey, chicken, you know what I mean? When you do that full plate and you have a little bit of rice and peas, you got your chicken, you got your ham, you got your turkey, you got your oxtail, you got your oxtail shepherd's pie. Ha, new one, eh? You can add a little bit of this sorrel cranberry sauce and I'm telling you, your guests are gonna be like, where you get that from? And you'll be like, I made that. Give me a little kudos, just a little bit. Not, not much, you know what I mean? If you guys haven't liked, comment, or subscribed, please do so below, because you guys do know, I love to hear from you. But now. Put a little bit of this cranberry sorrel sauce on top. Let's try this baby out. Remember, sorrel cranberry sauce with a cornbread biscuit. Are you dumb? Because this is golden. <laughs> Raptors, tell you guys, playoff time, this should have been served to you guys right after because this is like championship worthy. Anyways, guys, if you guys want this recipe, it's down below. But um, like, comment, subscribe. Again, it's another great dish coming to you guys. Mm. from Ms. King's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs>